Hi! My name is Owen. I hope you're doing great. I'm in the countryside with my family. What a beautiful landscape right? Do you want to know something interesting? Last week, my teacher explained the concept of equivalency, and how we can use this to compare numbers, in this case fractions. So! She asked us if we knew that 1 half and 4 eighths are the same fraction. Well! I didn't know that at the moment. So I asked her. Why are they the same? I remember she explained to me that, they are the same, because when you multiply or divide both the top and bottom by the same number, the fraction keeps its value. Here is why those fractions are really the same. If we multiply 1 half by 2 over 2, the result is 4 over 8. And visually it looks like this. Remember that the denominator tells us how many parts the model has, and the numerator tells us how many parts are shaded in the model. Keep in mind that the size of the rectangle is the same for both fractions, this tells us that both fractions are equivalent, because, comparisons are valid only when the two fractions refer to the same whole. We can do the same but dividing. For example, if we divide, 6 twelfths by 2 in the numerator and denominator, we get, 3 sixths. So, we can say, 6 twelfths, and 3 sixths, are equivalent fractions. And visually it looks like this. Also, we can compare fractions by creating common denominators or numerators, this is helpful every time we need to compare fractions with different numerator and different denominator. So, if I ask you, which fraction is larger? 1 fifth? Or 3 sevenths? What will be your answer? Well, we need to find a common multiple between 1 and 3. In this case that number will be, 3. And now, let's multiply the numerator and denominator by 3. The answer is, 3 fifteenths. So, we can say that 1 fifth is equal to 3 fifteenths. Now let's look at the models for both fractions. 3 fifteenths are less than 3 sevenths. Or, we can rewrite that as, 3 sevenths are greater than 3 fifteenths. Interesting right? Now that you know this, can you continue finding equivalence between fractions? Or comparing fractions? Just remember, you can make equivalent fractions by multiplying or dividing both top and bottom by the same amount. Practice a lot and you will become an expert. Well, I have to go now. Bye. And see you next time.